latest um, electric vehicle project. I've, uh, I'm going to make an electric boat. I acquired this derelict uh, trawler here at the boat yard. They were going to they were going to scrap it, so I'm going to try to save it. It's a 43 foot Gulf Star trawler. I've removed the flybridge from the top. This um, this flybridge on the ground here was was up top. I have a couple reasons. The neighborhood that I'm trying that I live in, um, I have a canal out back of my house, so I'm going to have an 11 foot bridge to get under. But it turns out that this is going to be where all the solar panels are going to be mounted. I've got a plan to put about 15 solar panels on it, um, about four and a half kilowatt of solar. The boat had twin inboards. Um, they were completely shot out, twin diesel, turbo diesel Perkins six cylinder. I think they were 130 horsepower each. I'm gonna replace those with um, two Prius motors and uh, probably some Tesla batteries eventually. Um, I think my first goal is going to be um, a go slow solar powered maybe there's a generator in here I'm not sure if it runs or not um, but it'll be kind of an electric hybrid solar powered putt-putt boat around Tampa Bay and then I'll start as I, as I get the money um, add batteries so it, it's friggin huge I've been working on it for a couple of weeks now trying to get the bottom uh, in order started grinding off the some of the gel coat I'm gonna epoxy the bottom it's got bow thruster that's cool so um, if I go up in the boat it's friggin enormous let me go up, uh, up the ladder here needs a lot of work This is the aft part of the boat. Looking forward. This is where I removed the flybridge. Okay, walk around the boat. It's got big side decks on it. This is the front of the boat. Not sure if any of this stuff uh, works yet. You can see all the surface area I have here for uh, architecting the solar panel mounting. And going in the boat, got all my tools sitting here. This is the salon. Down there is the forward. As you can see here, I have one motor already removed. It was semi, it was semi uh, disassembled. It was actually sitting on the salon floor and it, it rotted and it collapsed the floor. But today I'm gonna try to remove, or at least get this motor ready for removal. But I'm, uh, another thing I like about the boat is I'm 6'4" and it's got enough headroom for me. This is looking back. Now I'm in the in the little uh, sete and galley area. It's got all kinds of appliances that none of them work. Got a washer dryer, trash compactor, dishwasher, some ice maker, refrigerator. None of that crap works. This is the forward berth. A little V berth up here. Some closets. Here's the first, first head here. Bathroom, stand up shower. It's got a huge, huge engine bay for me working if you look way down deep the the keel it's probably about six foot down there underneath the floor 
This is the aft cabin. So if you walk into the back of the boat, so the aft cabin, this would be the master bedroom, I guess. I've already started removing the, uh, the rudder packing plans and I was going to, I was going to remove the rudders completely and just use electronic steering, but, uh, they talked me into leaving the rudders back on. So I got to do that. This is the second bathroom. Pretty nasty. Probably won't need two heads in here. I'm probably going to take this bathroom out, but it's got a lot of potential. At least I think it does. And going down into the engine compartment. All right. So we can get down in here. All the way down. Bilge is nasty. It's full of uh, oil and diesel and crud. Here's the generator. Hope that might be resalvageable. And I'm standing up in the uh, bottom of the keel here, and I'm about chin level with the floor. So at waist high, I can uh, I can reach all of them. This is where the Prius motor will get mounted, right where the transmission is. I'll put a thrust bearing, and I'm actually going to use the half shaft of the Prius transmission, a couple into that thrust bearing. But it goes back for a crazy amount of space down here for batteries and, uh, I don't know, I think you can make a second bedroom down here, probably. Third bedroom. But it's 1972. Everything looks fairly original. <laughs> So all the wiring will get completely removed. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the diesel. I've got this keel, this is the diesel tank inlet here. So it's a, a molded fiberglass baffled keel, uh, 300 gallon diesel tank. It's got the 100 water gallon water tank in the front. It's got a, another holding tank in the aft for the waste. All of that's keel molded in. So, Gulf Star 43 foot trawler, and it's going to be electric. Got my work cut out for me. Bye.